Hey guys, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips once again, and we're standing here in the cold <laughs> in Lindsay, Ontario. Yeah, this by the way is Chris. Chris, who is the owner, manager, runner, diver, captain, whatever you want to call him, a dive coworth is standing out here in the cold because we're going ice diving. No, we're not going ice diving, it's November. But we are out in the cold for a very special reason because Chris called me the other day and he said, Alec, I want you to come on down. I got a surprise for you. Well, you had a surprise for me. All right. This is Kawartha, big cottage country, very, very popular tourists and everything. I was right in central Ontario. If you're anywhere up this way at all, Peterborough or Lindsay, uh, anywhere north of Oshawa or Toronto, be sure you drop in to Kawartha Diving and see Chris and his surprise. Now, I am here because I was born here. I was born right here in Lindsay, yeah, my hometown. And uh, it's fantastic, a little uh, small town, was a small town at one time, great place. And I drove all these lakes. I have no idea how many cubic feet of air I sucked diving on the train and the Fenland River. Now we'll tell you about that sometime. Don't get your tanks on and go looking for a train just yet. And all the lakes, Balsam Lake and Cameron Lake and all the crummy lakes around here, I dove them all. Some of the dives are really good. Some of them not so good. As I say in my logbook, this dive was one of the ones I've made. <laughs> anyway, Chris had a surprise for me. So Kevin and I decided to come up here and show you this surprise. Okay, Kevin. In case you guys don't recognize it, this is called a boat. <laughs> Kevin will write that on the screen. <laughs> this is a dive boat. Now this is pretty crazy because, <clears throat> because the dive boat in the Quarthus is kind of weird, you know, the lakes and so on. And there are no other dive boats, to the best of my knowledge, nobody that I know of has a dive boat. Now we're talking a dive boat. Some guys have boats, you know, runabouts and so on, but this is a dive boat. All aluminum, all enclosed cab for comfort. You can recognize as a dive boat. This is a dive ladder. This ladder right here, put your hand on that. This ladder right there. Now some of you guys who've been diving for a while and you've been on dive boats around the world, you recognize this. Some of you don't recognize this, but you ever see a boat, with a ladder like this, meaning specifically a center post and funny rung sticking out that looks like something you might see in a circus when the gymnasts play, you know? That is a dive ladder. If you see a dive ladder on the back of a boat, that means it's a dive boat. Now the reason this is made like this, just so you know, uh, you guys, of course you divers that have been on dive boats may not know, that this allows you to climb the ladder without taking your fins off, because your fin slides in here. I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, flip that down here. There we go. There we go, just like that. <clears throat> and the bottom goes underneath, big bracket, locks right there, and there you go. And it hangs almost straight down in the water, almost straight down. Not perfectly straight, but very straight. So now you come up to the ladder, da da ba da ba do, and normally you might take your fins off, but with this you don't need to, because your fins slide in. See? Slide in, slide in. Up you go. Just that easy. That's a dive boat ladder. And he's got a big Volvo outdrive on this, a heavy duty big V8 engine driving it. It's fast, safe, comfortable, lots of room for tanks. So again, if you ever get up here in this area at all, make sure you drop in and see Chris. He's planning on going around to many of the area, lakes in the area. Plus he wants to get, uh, he wants to get up into Georgian Bay, which I think a lot of you know <clears throat> is the best freshwater diving, lots of shipwrecks, clear water, warm water in the summertime. <laughs> and he wants to get up there as well because that's the place a dive boat is really, really useful. So that's the surprise and it's a heck of a surprise. What do you think, Kevin? Very nice, huh? It's a, a light boat, goes nice and quick on the water. It's got some nice uh, heavy duty benches that you can strap your gear to. Uh, we back roll off of the sides, a um, little bit of cover for when it's raining, just like this. And uh, down in the front, we have uh, a V-berth that can keep things dry. Right here, we've got the SOS mooring buoy for the PB lock that we just took off on Monday. Six divers is perfect. That's I right, especially with, we mostly double tank divers. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Six is-, is Are you gonna use this for your open water dives as well, probably? In the afternoon, second dives, third dives? Uh, sometimes, yeah. We, we, we do a lot of diving in the PB lock and Humber Bay and, oh, yeah, and those places, yeah. yeah. Humber Bay is good. Yeah. yeah. Well, are you going to keep this name on the side or is that going? This is our name. Dive the North is our scuba club. Look at it, Kevin. Can you see it there? Dive the North. That's the name of your scuba club. That's the name of the scuba well, club. Know, yeah. Huh? yeah. Dive the North. So guys, if you're up here, make sure you pop in and come out and see, uh, see uh, Chris's boat at uh, Dive Co-Earth. Dive the North is the name of the boat. Anyway, that's great. I'm glad All you right. called, bud.
Okay. Thanks so much, Alec. Hopefully, I'll get on it. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, guys, that's it. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. That's really nice, Chris. Oh, yeah, thanks.